Net looking for classic clips of inspiration such as Fred Astaire. Yeah, you were Ginger Roger in. Well, because <laughs> I'm not a man. No, I know that. I'm just saying. So I would have looked at Ginger Roger. Yeah. Uh, but a lot of people know his sister, this is Fred's, of course, because Ginger wasn't his, it was her, uh, may have been even more successful on the dance floor had it not been for a chance encounter during a trip to the UK. <laughs> Fred Astaire, the fleet-footed Hollywood legend, immortalized by dozens of musicals during the first half of the 20th century. But what of his sister, Adele, whom Fred called the real dancer in the family? She was destined for great things, with critics saying that she was the more talented and charismatic of the two. So why has history all but forgotten her name? The answer lies here in Derbyshire, at Chatsworth House. Here, the resident expert on the Astaire's history is Hannah Obi. Well, Adele was born in 1896 in Omaha, Nebraska. She had, of course, a younger brother, Fred. He was three years younger than her. They were very good at dancing, and at the age of eight and the age of five, they were taken off to New York City and enrolled in stage school. In 1917, they eventually made it onto Broadway, where they became a huge hit. They carried on their success by coming over to this side of the Atlantic and starred in the West End as well. They were now a hugely successful double act, but it was Adele that the public adored. The newspaper columns are full of the fact that she's the best American actress that's ever landed in London, and she's really taken to the hearts of England at the time. And then it comes to an end. Why? What happened? Well, it ends because Adele falls in love. In 1926, she meets the youngest son of the Ninth Duke of Devonshire, Lord Charles Cavendish, who owns Chatsworth, amongst many other properties. Six years after meeting, they got married at Chatsworth House, and Adele gave up her life on the stage for good, becoming the Lady of the Manor instead. Despite her fame before marriage, there is no known footage of Fred and Adele performing together in public. And we can only imagine the sight of the pair practicing in private. And love and romance. So having grown up together, danced together, and tasted fame together, the Astaire brother-sister partnership broke up. Fred and Adele's lives were now heading in very different directions. Soon after the marriage, Adele, now Lady Charles Cavendish, moved to Ireland with her husband, where they lived in Lismore Castle. After the breakup of the dance partnership, Fred was devastated by the thought of continuing on stage alone. He was pushing 34 and feared that the rigors of being on stage would be too much for him. But then, movie producer David O. Zelznik suggested he try Hollywood. There's a story about his first screen test. Can't sing, can't act, balding, dances a little. That's gone down in Hollywood folklore. Then RKO Studios found him a new dance partner, Ginger Rogers. And it's this couple that history remembers, not Fred and Adele. We have 31 musicals in which to appreciate the genius of Fred Astaire. We don't have a single movie to remember Adele. Despite her fame, with no films to remember her by, Adele faded from the public's memory. But friends of the siblings say she was proud of her brother and never regretted leaving the bright lights behind. Had Adele not married and joined her brother in the movies, there's every chance she would have ended up as big a star as Fred. One critic once wrote, there is an element of daredevil spontaneity in her performance. The sense that with Adele on stage, anything is possible.